Well, hello stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper and today is Monday. That means it's time for Cheer Corner. Together we can change the world one card at a time. So I am going to do something a little bit different for Cheer Corner this week. And any guesses? If you guys have looked at, I usually post a, a list of what I'm using ahead of time. So if you've peeked at that, then you know what we're doing. But otherwise, take a look. Now, have you seen a box like this before? Now, let me zoom out. I'm zoomed in too far. Okay. So if you get a box like this and it's got stripes on one side, polka dots on the other, and it's just a nice plain box, it means that it's a kit. It's an online exclusive kit. So I've had this one for a little while, and I'm so happy I got it. So in the kit, you get a little ink spot. This one is Starry Sky. You get a little, this is in this little baggie are gems. So there's little flowers and little iridescent sequins. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, we have a sturdy block. These are great. If you already have a lot of blocks, save these in a special place. And when you introduce someone new to stamping, you can give them a block for their stamps. So there's that. And there's a sheet of dimensionals, big ones, so that's always handy. There's an instruction booklet. So this one is called, well, let me try to get this out, the Best Remedy Kit. And I see a chick, and I see a skunk, and I see a mouse. Okay. And I was really excited when I saw this. Look at the size of this, 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 this stamp. It's huge. A little bird, birdie told me you were under the weather. Feel better soon. I'm here for you. Um, sorry, life stinks sometimes. That's actually why I got this set, this kit, for that saying. Sorry, life stinks sometimes with the skunk. Even though this stinks, and then it says, um, I'm here for you. And then, well, that stinks, and ice cream is the best remedy for this. So you've got a big carton of ice cream. You've got an ice cream cone. Um... A little chef hat. I think that's what that is. I think. Anyway, we'll see. And then a little flower pot. So I thought that was really cool. Now let's see what else is in the kit. So before we even make this kit with the sheer corner, I always like to use the um, the Stamparatus and we'll, we'll, we'll stamp all the images just so that you can see what they look like. There's some really nice sturdy envelopes in here and they have a fun flap. So there's three different. There's nine cards in here? Yeah, nine. So the kit makes nine cards. So you know what, actually before we stamp, we're gonna do this. What I like to do is I like to, I've got all of them together. I'm just getting the die cuts out so they're all ready to go. Do not break off the, the chickie's feet. There, mouse. This would be a great kit. I thought, you know what, my granddaughter Anna would love to do this, and Leo. Leo likes to craft just as much as Anna does. Don't think that crafting is just for girls. I had a motorcycle class last week and I was so happy. Two of the most macho guys came and made cards and they had such a good time and it reminded me to get rid of all my stereotypes because they're just ridiculous. Okay, so now we have our cards. Let's see, we have these with the green plaid. And then I see some more die cuts. And we've got some plain, they are, it's pool party, I think. And then we've got some striped cards. Now, here is a heart. And I, well, I guess we will take it out. But I've saved the negative because we're going to need this. Yeah. Save the negative. And I'm not going to take these out either because I want it to be sturdy. You'll see why in a minute. Okay. Now, my instructions. Or as my... Grandchildren say sometimes the destructions or the constructions. See, for that blue one, let's see, we need to stamp, see, on there. So maybe we'll do that first, okay? I'm not, not going to go in any particular order. And then here on this one, we're going to stamp a little birdie told me, but I haven't found those yet. Oh, yeah, here they are. There are more pieces. They are embossed. So that's cool on both sides. We have those. Let me see. I'm digging for more stuff. Oh, yeah. And then we have this. And again, we're not going to 
take them out of the packaging because I might need them on my Stamparatus. So here we go. And I'm going to take a piece of plain white. And let's put this where you can see it. That would be helpful. So as I'm stamping, I want you to think, sorry for the noise, make sure you save this skinny piece. You need it. Um, think about who you want me to send this card to, okay? And you can order this online yourself. It's really nice. I know as an Oma, as an, a, a grandmother, sometimes it's hard. Like, kids love to craft. And it's like, oh, my goodness. Well, this would be a perfect thing to do with your grandkids or your kids or the whole family. It's important to do things as a whole family. So here we go. I'm going to do these first, and then we'll do the words. And then you'll see all the stamps there. And I think we'll stamp these in Memento. I know that Starry Sky came in your kit, but we'll do them in black. Let's have a look. All right, so let's get our skunk, our cute little skunk inked up. Do you know that they don't have skunks in the Netherlands? And so this is a true story. There was a Dutch immigrant on his way to church in the 50s, the 1950s. So he was wearing his best Sunday clothes, and as he was walking to his old car, he saw what he thought was a very cute cat with a stripe. So he went up close to pet this cat, and of course it wasn't a cat, it was a skunk, and the skunk sprayed him while well, the man just about lost his mind. Of course he didn't make it to church that morning, and he discovered what skunks were. <laughs> so, yeah, and I didn't really, yeah. So I asked Gerard, is it true that there are no skunks in Holland, and it is true. So there are also very few squirrels. So yeah, you can understand that that would have been, skunks are cute, and if you don't know, you could easily be mistaken. Okay, so instead of stamping, well, you know what, I will stamp this anyway. This will be great. So here, and here. So it's kind of fun. I'm just going to put these all on and then I'll resume. Okay, so I've laid them all out on my paper. It's a big stamp set. Press down. Now it's going to pull up because this is a brand new photopolymer. They're super sticky. So now we put our everything tight into the corner. And remember, the Stamparatus is retiring. Stampin' Up! lost a legal battle with Misty who claimed copyright or patent or whatever. So all other tools, including the one from Tim Holtz, are going to be off the market. So order yours because it's just fantastic. I just can't imagine stamping without it. So here we go. And I'm probably gonna have to do this again because photopolymer stamps, the first time you use it, sometimes the ink um, puddles a little bit. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that again. But it, this is a much nicer set than I realized. So you don't realize till you get it, when you get a kit, sometimes how great the stamp set is that's in it. So, there we go. Okay, so here we go. That is a big stamp set. Isn't that great? I know I could have done this through stamping through my stash too, but here we are. And I do think I stamped that upside down. I think that's like an old-fashioned hot water bottle. A waterkruik, as they would say in, uh, in Dutch. So, okay. Now we're going to clean these off and I'm going to stamp them so that we can make a card. So let's do this one first. I've got my die cuts. I'm going to put them like this. And then I need a little birdie told me you were under the weather. And then we're going to stamp them in the color that came with it, which is starry sky. There. And then the other one, what else do we need? We need ice, even though this stinks, and then we need ice cream is the best remedy. So, ice cream is the best remedy, and then even though this stinks. And you know what? I'm going to do the other one too. So, life stinks sometimes. Okay, and we'll take the other ones off. One, two, three, gone. 
And are you thinking about who, who, who should get this stamp? I hope you are. Oh, and that one's crooked. I see that now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come to mama. So, oh, and you know what? Even though it's crooked, I'm going to stamp it because I have a line on there. So, you know what? Crooked is okay. I don't want to open up my little ink spot because I like giving those away as prizes. So, I have the big one here. Starry Sky. Now, how you open them, there's a groove on the sides. That's for your fingers. And then there's a little thing here that you grab with your thumb and it just goes up like a compact. Okay. And then I'm just going to put my case for my chamois. So my chamois, it comes pale purple when you first get it, but after lots and lots of use, it gets this color. And I keep it in a, in a, in a clear case, put a label on it, and that's how I clean my stamps. And you just rinse it underwater till it runs clear. Okay, tap, tap, tap with the ink. There we go. Now, give it a press. Maybe we'll get all three cards made. Wasn't my plan, but I think it'd be nice for you to see what they look like. And that you could even make a card with a slightly crooked saying, not the end of the world. It's not something that makes you really happy, but it happens. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna clean it off right away. Okay, we're ready to make our first card. And I do see, so let me share something with you. Maybe this one's okay. It is. It's sometimes a better idea to put your stamp in the negative space because you can see it better with the black and the white. And then you put your piece back in and then stamp. I just got a little bit lazy. And you know what? I got fairly lucky. These look quite good. This one is off a smidge. But you know what? Not bad. Not bad. There. Okay, and we'll save this. And now we're gonna make our first card. Let me put this away. Now I put my case, you could put back in your box, but sometimes what happens, unless you label your box clearly, you forget what you have. So you can buy these clear cases separately, and they're wonderful to have because I put my um, extra stamp sets in there, I put card kits in there, I put my chamois, or I put um, embellishments, so it's really nice. Okay, so. Here we need this card, this pool party card, fold it in half. We need this little piece here. And so you could use it both ways. There's the white, it's embossed. There's a little, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little, it's really hard. Yeah, there, if I kind of go, you can see there's a diagonal stripe. It is very muted and it's gonna go on this side. And then we need this piece, but you know what? I don't wanna take, this piece out yet because we need to stamp on here. So let's keep that all together for a minute. Move all our little pieces and see if it fits. Ooh, what side does my stamp have to be on? Let me just have a look. Let's look at the, the destructions. Oh, and it has to be not. See, I am so directionally challenged that I have to lay it like this and it has to go on this side. See, it has to go on, on this side. So that's not helpful to me. So I think what we're going to do is just take a chance. And I'm going to lay this on here with the, with the magnet. Like so. And then even though this stinks, that's what we need. So we'll take that out. Even though this stinks, lay it on here. The magnets are pretty strong, so it should be should be okay. There. So we'll ink that up. You know, we can do that once more. See, this is why the Stamparatus is so great. You can stamp it twice in exactly the same place and you get a nice dark image. So now it's perfect. We'll move that out of the way. And I don't need that one yet, but I need that. I don't even know yet. I'm just talking gibberish, people. The squirrel is getting squirrely. Watch out. Close your ink pad so you don't get your hands in it. And now we needed this piece. That's what I was. I wanted to keep this whole piece intact. But there. 
not gonna work, not gonna happen. There, and you can save this, you could do little punches with this if you want, otherwise, away it goes. Declutter. So now we'll put our card together. A little adhesive, gotta make sure I'm doing it right, follow, look at your paper. I always make the first cards exactly the way they say, and then I save the rest to play with and maybe do things differently, because that's fun. This is the instant gratification part. So we're going about a half inch from the side there. And then this piece is gonna go like so, a bit more like so. You could pop this up too, what does it tell me? Um, no, this piece is going flat. They do give you glue dots, I think, within your kit. You could use those. I'm too impatient, so I use these. And it's going about like so in the middle. There. Then we need our little chicky girl. This one. Oh yeah, and look, there's the hot water bottle on her head. See, the clue was right there. So for this one, we're going to put dimensionals on the back. These are lovely. Our dimensionals, the dimensionals from Stampin' Up! are soft and foamy. They're not stiff and rigid. And I don't know why that makes a difference, but for me, it does. It makes me happy. I do not like those dollar store ones. Um, and you get more in our kits anyway. There we go. You get what you pay for. The dollar store can really be expensive. Even though it doesn't seem like it, it is. Not for everything. A little birdie told me that you were under the weather. How cute is that? This is also going to go up with dimensionals. And what I like about the die cuts is that, um, well, let's see, when we get to the skunk, it gives you a coloring idea. See? Anyway, that's fine. Don't forget to take your backings off or it won't stick. And this is going to go like so. How cute is that? And then all we need to do is add a few um, gems. They don't, they're not showing me. Oh yeah, there's two. So then we get our pokey tool, if we can find it. Oh, goodness gracious. The pokey tool was under my instructions. So I was prepared. Just there. And they have big ones and little ones. So I'm even looking. Sometimes I'm such a copycat. I'm looking to see where they place the gems as if I can't make up my own mind. So even after 18 years, sometimes we still have a little bit of, see, and that's just two. I like to add three, so I'm going to add another one. Big one here. There. Just adds a little bling. It's cute. So this is the basic card. You could add um, more stamping in the background. You could, like, make a pattern with that hot water bottle on here, tone on tone with Versamark. So that's that one, and look how cute it is with the... With the envelope okay so that's definitely happy mail so that's card number one now we're gonna get card number two as soon as I can find it of course I'm looking for the, the green plaid one and it is totally 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 hiding on me okay so the cards were hiding under my stamparatus and I realized for the next card that we need to do another stamping thing so I'm going to show you what I should have showed you before so I'm taking out this little banner here and see how we have that negative space. Make sure that your paper is tight into the corner and then in that negative space we are going to lay our stamp and it says I'm here for you. But because we're putting it in that black space you can see much better that it's straight or not. So I'm just going to, I don't need that. I'm going to close that up and plus it doesn't stick to your paper so that's another bonus. Now we put our thing back in, because you won't have anything if you don't do this step. And then we're going to ink up our saying. There you go. And here's a case of, you know, you don't know how nice something is until you actually ink it up and put it together. Oh, here we go. And that, you know what? That's dark enough. I don't need to do it twice. But you see, you couldn't do that without a stamparatus where you have that negative. And then you can just do it over and over. Take all the little pieces and just put them all in there and stamp them all right away so you don't have to redo it every time. I'm telling you, the stamparatus is magic. It's fantastic. I'm like, I'm deeply grieved that they lost the battle and they have to get rid of it. Stampin' Up! would never have gotten rid of their good tool. 
And it's better than the Misty. That's the problem. That's why they're upset. People who had Misties, I had people who had a Misty and they got rid of it because the Stamparatus was just way better. Anyway, that's why people get patents. That's the way life goes sometimes. Okay, so now we want to do this here. That's going to go, it's going to go this way a little bit. And then the skunk. And then the I'm here for you. So this is going to go on flat. So when you nominate your person, make sure you tell me why you're nominating the person. If it's something of a very personal nature, then you can private message me. But if it's just something like, you know what, this person is awesome, um, they've done this or that for me, um, then put it in the messages because people like to hear these things. It makes us stronger as a community. Okay, so now we're going to pop up the skunk. And, and oh, I, a message from my mama. She got a card from one of you. She didn't tell me who it was. She said it was one of my stamping friends. And my mom is a very strong Christian. Her church community is everything to her. And you know what she said? She said, yeah, the church community is wonderful and it's great, but the stamping community, that's amazing too. And I thought, you know what? Coming from my mother, that is high praise indeed. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to share that with you because how awesome is that? Anyway, so sweet that you guys think of my mama and send her cards. She, um, it just goes to show you, you know what? That's pretty big. We're not going to do that. So what you do when your dimensionals are too large is that you can cut them in half or use your end pieces. And I'm trying to see if I have scissors. I do. I should not use these. These are my ribbon scissors. Okay. Here we go. I did it anyway, but two little snips won't hurt, right? Okay, I'm putting that just down the middle. Because this cardstock is a little flimsier than our own, just so you know. And then this is going to go, oh, let me see, a little higher up. How cute is that? See, now we need, are there any flowers on here? There's some stars. Well, they're not really stars, they're flowers. And it's kind of a pun, right? Life stinks. And then you put flowers on it. Seriously. Here. That's cute. That's pretty cute. And then we'll put a little rhinestone in beside. How adorable. I'm not going to do any more, but you can do as many as you want. Isn't that cute? And then we could stamp the, the mouse in the... Is it the mouse? It's not the mouse. It's the skunk. Okay, and this one, I guess it could have gone with the plaid card too. Doesn't matter. Oh, you know what? This was supposed to go with the plaid card, and this one was supposed to go with the stripe card. See? Matchy, matchy. Okay, so now we have one more card. Who's in love with this kit? Who's going to buy this kit? Yes. Who wants Gerard to go to Mexico? He's never been to Mexico. That is the next Stampin' Up! trip, and I've never been further from earning it. But you know what? Life is good, and what will happen will happen. Okay, so this is the last card. And in the kit, I found this at the back. It's a, I think, polished pink. You cannot see it. There's a little, it's really hard to see. There is a little swirly embossed image on it. It is there. I'm wondering, yeah, in the card it looks darker, but it's, you could go tone on tone and brush it with polished pink. I kind of, I'm tempted to do it. Let's have a look. Let's do this. So polished pink is one of our retiring colors. Oof. Here we go. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to find out. If not, I've tried. It's not doing anything. No. Okay. You know what? We'll turn it over and use the other side. Although I don't even know if that's necessary. It's not that dark. Anyway, I was curious. There is a thing. There might be a better way, but we're just going to use it just the way it is. Oh, no, it's white on the other side. Ha! That's not going to work. So this is going to go in the middle of the card. Have you picked a favorite yet for your Cheer Corner nominee? You know, one other good thing about Cheer Corner is that it unites us as a stamping community. Right? We share our needs. We share our joys. And, um, and I'm also, I, I'm hoping that 
by me doing a cheer corner card that you also get in the habit of making a card and sending a card just because just because doesn't have to be um, for a birthday anniversary or an occasion just because you're thinking of them Ooh, it's a good save Jackie got a little ink on my finger but it didn't end up on my card here like that oh higher 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 oh gosh all right, you know what? It's going to be this low. Mine's going to be different than the sample card. It was supposed to be a little higher. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Because that's what it's going to be. The next one will be different. Okay, so now we're going to put our mouse on. The mouse is cute. And the mouse is going to be popped. One dimensional on each ear. One on his there. And one on his belly. There. Probably a good idea to have a little garbage can right on your desk. And then he's going to go, yeah, he looks fine. Doesn't make any difference that it's a little lower. And ice cream. See, the mouse is holding an ice cream. So we're going to pop that up too. Let's see. Yeah, just two. You don't have to put four on a little square. Two is just fine. And how cute is that? There. And then we can, I think I might have put that on a bit crooked. Oh, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. You can add gems if you want. But here we go. We have the cards. They are finished. They are beautiful. And you get to choose which one you're going to send to the cheer corner. One, two, and where's the third one hiding? Oh, and I'll show you the envelope for the last one, too. There. I don't have room for all of them because I'm in there. Here. How adorable is that? And then here's the envelope. Oopsie. For the last one. See? They all coordinate. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. It's always a pleasure to have you here. I love reading the comments. When I'm at my mom's, I share your comments with her. And ever since COVID, she's been so invested in my business because she's seen me at work. She's joined me for videos and it warms my heart so much that I've never had a closer relationship with my mom as I do now. And um, I hope that gives you hope if you're struggling in your relationship with your mother. <clears throat> you know what? It's never too late. It's never too late. So invest in it. Do your best. Get those stories before they're gone. And uh, yeah. Give them a big hug and craft together. It's so much fun. Sometimes when you're busy working together, the conversation flows more naturally. So give it a try. Order a kit and um, have some fun together. All right. The links will be um, under my video. Um, if it's on YouTube, if it's on Facebook, I'll try to put a link there as well. Okay? Thanks. And be sure to share the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Do all the good things. All right? I appreciate you. Bye.